but it's a form of income for some of the girls. So, I mean, the only seven players, only six players that they awarded contracts to, so it's a form of income, a form of security in other words for the couple of players who got it, as well as it's kind of hard for those who didn't get contracts because after all, cricket is 14 players going on at all, not six. Uh, so, it's kind of challenging for some, but it's a good step, a step in the right way for the others, or for women's cricket as well. I know it would be difficult for them because um, we've heard, like probably last tour, we've heard, you know, there were talks about why why only six players are being awarded contracts. But at the end of the day, it's not us, the, the other the players who are contracted that are making the decisions. I mean, it's, it's hard, yes, but I mean, if it's up to us, everybody should have contracts because we've all been there. But it's understood on the board's part that the six that are awarded contracts are the six who have been there from the inception. The others would have just come into the team or within the last year or so come into the team. So in a sense, it's understanding, but I mean, it's, it's cricket. It's, it's a team sport. It's 14 players going on a team. Personally, I don't think it, put pressure, it puts pressure on me. I can say for me, I can speak for me. It doesn't because at the end of the day, I still give my all. I still play for team, I still want to win, I still want to, to make the West Indies team, women's team, you know, build women's cricket, so for me it's not really a pressure. I thought we did pretty well as a team. We started off on a high note. Yes, we wanted to beat India in both series, but unfortunately we did not. But we were competitive, and that's what we wanted to do, be competitive. India is ranked fourth in the world, we are now ranked sixth. And I think I thought we played pretty well against them. It was the first time that a West Indies team has ever bit, beaten um, India, and I think we achieved some good stuff. Personally, I I started off pretty well against the President's eleven. Um, I had opportunities that I didn't go on to make, you know, to make good use of them. But I thought it was average. I can do much better. Probably be a bit more patient, definitely patient, because the Indian girls weren't doing anything so drastic with the ball. It was just a matter of you as the batsman needing to just be patient, and that's what killed us at times. Their spin bowling wasn't that hard to play, but as I stress on the patience because they were just like flight in the ball. It was you to do what you want to do with it. And most of the times we chose the wrong thing to do. Probably jump down the wicket and try to hit or get out silly. I think for the last tour that we've had here, the preparation wasn't much. I mean, it was you for your country, you doing your own thing at home. But like as a team, as a West Indies team, we were not training together. And probably because of the Christmas time, uh, I think that was pretty bad because that's what we need. We really needed a, a, a little camp to gel together, to come together. Because most of the tours that we've been on and been successful, we've had long camps or come from a tour into another tour and, and it has worked. So I think that was kind of to our detriment of not having a camp before. Well, personally, um, I believe that you must be fit in order to play cricket. You may not have all the skills, but you must be fit. So for me, it's gym, it's working on core, working on cardio. Um, I, will I liaise with the trainer, Shannon Lashley, who normally sends us, you know, what she wants us to work on or what she thinks we, be, we should be working on. And yeah, some of that training and stuff. And my personal game, what I, I think I need to work on. Uh, the last World Cup was, I mean, the team was pretty young, now starting. So I think we have come a long way in terms of where we started and where we're going. Um, World Cup coming up, we're definitely looking forward to it because, I mean, I think we have a lot much more to give, or to show. So. I would say it has improved in terms of there's a lot more cricket for women in Trinidad than any other country in the Caribbean. Um, I think the development structures can be, it can improve
improving up in a couple of ways. You know, structures for the teams, helping out the clubs, um, so that the clubs are able to help their younger players coming up and stuff, who are not sponsored and, and stuff like that. Um, I think it's pretty good. The level of, the standard of cricket is pretty good for us in Trinidad. Um, hence the reason we have, we tend to have most picks and better performances on any team. there are more foreign players that are interested in coming but again we have to study if the clubs can fund them, that kind of thing because most of the West Indies girls I mean as I said Trinidad plays more cricket than any other country so most of the girls want to come to play because they're hearing about it of course Deandra will talk about it we will talk about it when we're on tour you know it's like what we coming back home to and they would have nothing so I mean yes of course they want they would love they would love to have more cricket in other countries but Maybe we can lift the bar of one player and make it two players.